today's video is going to be a what's in my hospital bag i'm going to pack it as i talk you through what i've got because this is baby number two i've got a pretty good idea at what i should need to take into hospital And welcome to today's video if it's your first time here then my name is Grace and I am currently as I film this I'm about to turn 37 weeks pregnant with baby number two and in today's video as you can probably tell from the title it's going to be a what's in my hospital bag and also I'm going to pack it as I talk you through what I've got in my hospital bag because this is baby number two I've got a pretty good idea at what I should need to take into hospital with my son who is 14 months old as I film this so there's not been that long an age gap between this baby so I do remember what I need quite well I was also in hospital for five days with Elliot when he was born so I have got a pretty good understanding of exactly what I should need so I'm packing as if I sh might have to stay in hospital again hopefully I won't but that's my mindset this time is that if I take more than enough I shouldn't need it this time. This should be quite a helpful guide if you found this video because it's baby number two and because I've been in hospital with a newborn. Um, I've got a bag for myself this time and I've got a bag for baby. That was the mistake that I made last time. I tried to pack everything into the suitcase which wasn't really a very good idea. I think it's definitely better to have a bag separate for yourself and then a bag separate for the baby. I am going into hospital to have this baby definitely. Yes, let's get into the what's in my hospital bag. The travel suitcase that I've got is not new at all. We're just using whatever we've got because I don't see the point of buying anything just to go into hospital with. And then this is literally just a gym bag with baby stuff in. So you really don't have to go out and buy anything new. Um, just use whatever you've got that's practical really, I think anyway. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my hospital bag and I have just got this small carry-on size suitcase, which is rollable, which is quite handy. It's just got little wheels and so my husband can roll it into the hospital when we go. And um, in the front here, I have got my notes and a few like hospital identity things in there. And so I'm not gonna show you that. They're at the front and they're really easy to access. When we arrive, I know where they are. So I'll open this up. I am going to pack it as I tell you what is in my bag. I'm gonna pack my clothes first. So I've got this thin cloth dressing gown, just in case I have to stay overnight again, like I say. I'm just gonna pop that at one end. Never know, you might need a dressing gown. It might be cold at night. And then I've got a thin nightie. I actually wore these nighties when I was in hospital with Elliot as well. So I know that I should be okay. Um, I'm having this baby at a similar time of year to Elliot. I might just fold that a little bit more. I just found that a nightie worked really well. Um, I didn't really feel like wearing pajamas. It was easy to breastfeed in a nightie too. So I've got that nightie there. Then I have got this pack of cotton full briefs that are from Primark. I bought a new packet because I couldn't find the pants that I wore with Elliot. I'm not sure I might find them away. Um, they're just like full briefs, so they'll be fine to wear with sanitary towels and pads. And they're black, which is very important after you've just had a baby because you will be bleeding a fair amount. Um, so I'm just gonna keep them in the packet actually because they're nice and easy to pack like that. I have got a few spare old pants in the front of my case. So that's a four pack of pants, which should should see me through, hopefully. Got those. Then I have got a spare clean nursing bra. This is not new at all. I've used this a lot with Elliot. So um, I've just got a clean bra to put on for after I've given birth. And then I've got some t-shirts rolled up ready, just in case I have to stay in or I can come home in these. This one's a vest, this is a t-shirt. Another rolled up t-shirt. And then I've just done a dark wash the other day and I've washed some of my jogging bottoms. These are really loose, really baggy. They're dark in color, which again is very important. I think after you've had a baby, you don't wanna be wearing anything light and you just wanna be comfortable. These are quite loosely fitted, so hopefully they'll be all right. Um, for whatever sort of birth I have to come home in or to, if I need to be in hospital, I've got them to wear Pop them on the top. Actually, no, they can go at the side, so. 
I'm gonna put all the like cloves at the bottom. Hopefully you can see. I'll move it down a bit for you. Um, yeah, so all of the cloves are at the bottom because I want all of the other bits um, grabbable for when I'm actually in labour. Um, so this is my wash bag, which I'll go through in a minute. This is a bag for when I'm in labour, which my husband knows is like my labour bag. Just got some essentials in there. I will go through that in a minute as well. I've got a little microfiber hair towel for if I'm in, if I'm in hospital, or if I wash my hair, that's just my hair towel. I have to use that one rather than theirs. I've also got a three pack of orange juice. Um, I do have another bag with some snacks in, but I'm not going to show you that because that's not really that interesting. But I'm also, I am just going to pack some more orange juice in my suitcase as well, in case I'm really lagging in energy. But we have got snacks in another bag. In here, I think I'm going to put my camera um, when it comes to the day, if I get time. But it's got my phone charger, and that's going to have any last minute things that I need to put in there, like my phone, um, a card to pay for any. Um, parking or stuff like that and um, so that's just gonna stay on top for now because that's subject to change then I've got another clear vanity case which has got a packet of tissues in it's also got this uh, nipple cream for after the baby's born and I am now just going to put in about half this packet of sanitary towels and um, I do have a few more at the front as well um, just in case but yeah I think I'm going to do about 12 of these that should because I'm I didn't bleed that heavily with Elliot but you never know with a second baby um, but I think 12 should be more than enough these little clear cases I got from Amazon so um, I've seen some people they pack like little plastic clear bags but I think that these vanity cases are much more practical um, and you can see what's in them as well um, so that's basically got a few of my essential bits like tissues sanitary towels and nipple cream and you can see exactly what's in there so that's after baby's born oh I've got a pair of socks um, just in case my feet get cold if I'm if I have to stay in in bed or anything like that okay so um, let's talk you through what is in this clear Ted Baker um, makeup bag. This is for when I'm in labour. Um, my husband knows that. Um, so these are some bits that I might want during my labour. Whoops, that's fallen out. So I've got some Harmex lip balm. Um, I actually picked up a new one because I had I did find one from my last labour, but there's not much left. And I thought we're not going to want to be faffing about trying to get lip balm out. So I've got a lip balm because um, the gas in there can dry your lips out. I didn't have a lot of gas in there with Elliot, so I didn't find it, I needed it too much, but I might this time. I've just got a clean flannel cloth, because um, I thought if it's a hot day, I might like a nice cool flannel on my face, or um, if the heat is quite a nice pain relief, I might want a warm flannel just to sort of um, rub on my stomach or my face, my back, I'm not sure, um, but I've been really enjoying a flannel in my pregnancy like to wash my face with so I thought I might like that in my labour and I've just tied it round with some hair bands which I might need. I'm sure I will go in with my hair up anyway. And I've got this muslin cloth here and I've got some lavender oil because I quite enjoyed the lavender oil on a cloth in my last labour. I found it quite relaxing so I might like that again to inhale the nice relaxing smell of lavender. I've got a spare scrunchie and then I've got this Lizelle skin tonic spritzer for my face. Again if it's hot that might be really nice to cool me down. So they're all my things for like when I'm in labour. That's quite a handy little thing just um, to have that'll be at the top of my bag then this is my wash bag um, I have got more than enough stuff in here but I'm just like I say I'm gonna go with the intention that I might have to stay in like I did with Elliot and then hopefully I won't need it I've just got a small dry shampoo another flannel for if I need that some travel size dove body wash I've got a new bamboo toothbrush in its packet and a travel sized Colgate toothpaste. Then I've just decanted some of my shampoo into a squeezy bottle and then I've got a travel size argan oil conditioner which was from a holiday way back. 
Um, I've got a roll-on deodorant. I use roll-on anyway, but you're supposed to not have too much scented stuff like around newborns because they're meant to get your scent. That doesn't have a lot of scent to it anyway. I've got my Tangle Teaser, rose gold one. Got some more flannels at the bottom. Not sure if you can see. I've got a Lizelle moisturizer. And then I've got my Kate Somerville goat milk moisturizer too. I've just got some travel size ones that need using up. Also got a sample of some moisturizer in case I'm in hospital for a while because it is nice to just take two minutes aside and you know feel like you've been able to have a nice wash and clean um put some face moisturizer on when you're in hospital i remember that from last time and that is everything in there and that is what it looks like it's not too heavy which is good um and i think that is pretty much all i should need and should i have to stay in hospital this time around should hopefully be a little bit easier for Oliver to be a visitor and bring anything in that I need extra for myself but I think that is more than enough but it looks like I'm gonna zip that up yeah doesn't stand up very well because it's a bit of an old case but yeah that is very practical and that's everything that I should need okay so I'm gonna move on to what is in my baby's hospital bag and um, i'm just using a jack wills gym bag i think for all of the baby's bits really light and none of this is heavy so it would just be easy for my husband to carry in um, it's got a shoulder strap so he can wheel my suitcase and he can put this over his shoulder and then he just needs to bring our snacks as well and um, so this is everything here for the baby but a packet of newborn nappies uh, these are from Aldi there's 24 in here so I think I'm just gonna pack the whole lot so I've already opened them because the last thing you want is a bit like when Elliot was born he was born at midnight or about 11 p.m. and by the time he did his first poo um, you don't want to be like fiddling about getting into a packet you just want them all open and um, so I've already opened them um, so I've got this small packet of nappies 24 should be more than enough um, and they will just go in nicely at the side here. I'm also going to take a fair open packet of cotton pads for baby's bottom because I didn't end up using any wipes um, when Elliot was born. I used all cotton wool and cotton pads to change his nappy with in the early weeks and months. I've got a spare one of those next to the nappy. Speaking of bum changes, I have got this clear vanity bag with nappy sacks, more cotton wool. Um, I've got a little pot of pseudo cream in there baby's bottom shouldn't need pseudo cream in the first few days of its life but you never know and um, you might just want to have that there just as a backup and then i've got these cheeky wipes face cloths um i know you're not supposed to wash baby in the first few days of its life but you never know um so that's they're really gentle um if there's sort of any mucky bits that you might want to just gently wipe away and um, i've got that soft cloth there or i can use the cotton wool but yeah, so that's like a little nappy changing bag for baby. But on top of the nappies, my friend bought me some bits from Primark, little like muslin and teddy bear. So I'm just going to take that. Making a little hand knitted white cardigan. As you will see, I'm sure you can tell if you don't watch my channel, if you're new here, <laughs> we don't know what we're having. So hence all of the white, very neutral, white and yellow and grey. Um, clothes that we've got here so yeah I've got a little white cardi in case baby needs a cardigan and um, Elliot wore that when he was a newborn so it'd be really lovely to see our next baby wear that actually I'm going to pack this in there now because this is probably the biggest bit that I'm taking I'm actually going to take a sleeping bag um, this is the guess how much I love you sleeping bag because newborn babies like being swaddled and because we're having a baby in the height of summer I didn't want to buy an actual like swaddle I bought a summer tog sleeping bag just in case we're in overnight and they want to feel nice and safe and secure Secure. Um, I've got a little sleeping bag for baby there. Elliot loved his sleeping bag. He still uses a sleeping bag now. I definitely am going to use a sleeping bag with this baby. Speaking of sleep, I'm going to take in to hospital the My Hummy Mini, which has been another essential sleep aid for us. It is a white noise sound machine. I can just put this in the crib with baby. Um, it makes lovely, soothing, white noise sounds that your baby's going to be really used to hearing after they've just come out of your tummy. And it's just, it's really small and it's not going to be obtrusive in the bag. And again, we use white noise with Elliot even to this day still, and these have been amazing. If you want to hear more about white noise, I'll leave the link to that video at the top of the screen now. I'm definitely going to use white noise with this baby as well. You can use it from birth. So that's going with us. Then I've just got a really plain white, I think they're called micellar blankets. I'm not sure if that's right. 
but they're like designed so that your baby doesn't get too hot or too cold they're like the perfect kind of tog for a baby newborn baby because obviously newborns can't regulate their body temperature i'm just going to take a plain white blanket in case we need that as well as the sleeping bag shouldn't do but i've got that there in case then I have got some little newborn socks and I've got a grey pair because we don't know what we're having. Then I've got a little turquoise pair in case we have a little boy again. And then I've got a little pink pair in case we have a little girl. So we can do a little cute gender reveal free baby socks if we feel like it. Little newborn socks there which I'm going to put in. There's like a little sleeve at the back. Some little white gloves, scratch gloves, scratch mittens for baby. I'm going to put them with the socks. A another knitted, hand knitted um, item here from... Oliver's Nan, so this little yellow and white hat in case it's a little bit chilly at night or something for baby's head. Put that on top. In terms of clothing, I've got four bodysuits because this baby is being born in summer, so there's a very high chance that it could be quite hot. So I've got more bodysuits than I have baby grows. I've got two plain white sleep suits. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. If this isn't enough, Oliver will be able to bring me more bits in should I need it. I'm going to fold those up, roll them up, and then I'm going to pack them and put them in the top. They are all the bodysuits there. Finally, I've just got two muslin cloths, which I folded. I hope two will be enough. I think it should. If I'm not in hospital for very long, it will be enough. I know that newborns are quite sicky, but I don't really want to take more than I have to. I'm going to put them to the side. And then I've just got another little yellow flannel. It's quite nice for putting a flannel under newborn baby's body when they're having their bum changed. It stops them, like if, they, if it's kind of a cold surface, it's nice to just put something soft down for when you change their bottoms so it's not really cold for them again i've just rolled that flannel and i've put a hairband around it i'm going to put that on top of the nappy so i'm not sure if you can see but that is what that all looks like it's so so light there's nothing heavy in there at all i think that is more than enough stuff for what i should need i mean if i'd have packed this with elliot i think it would have still been enough might have needed a few more bodysuits for him because i was in for five days but um, I'm not. I'm hoping not to be in for that long this time. I'm zip that one up. So so light. I'll probably carry that myself. It depends what sort of pain level I'm in when we're going into the hospital. But yeah, that is baby's bag. Okay, so there we have it. That is what is in my hospital bag. That is what is in my baby's hospital bag. Hopefully you found this video useful. I'd love it if you would consider subscribing if you're not already because. If you can't already tell, my channel is all about motherhood and life in between and I am obviously going to be capturing all the memories and capturing life as a mum of two under two very soon. So yeah, thank you again for watching and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye!